disclosure, I'm hungover, my nails are chipped, I have the hugest zit, like, look at this thing, it looks like, I mean it's covered with makeup, but it looks like a makeup colored mole on my face, and um, I just thought it would be the perfect time to do a little vloggy style video. Here's all my stuff, look at it, ooh, oh, don't look, spoiler alert! Okay, so where am I gonna start? I think I'm gonna start with this thing. So look at this. I went into the new thrift shop and I found this beautiful gold colored, um, I think they're laurel leaves, I'm not sure, but it's like one of those big long swags. They had two, so I bought two and they were only $2.99. So you have to go and dig. And what I like is the fact that it's not just like silk, you know, like fabric fake flowers, they're actually, um, like rubberized flat, uh, leaves, which means the quality is better. The only problem is on my white bed, um, I now have gold spray paint everywhere. But I thought that was really good. Um, so each one's like five feet. So I got 10 feet for six bucks. Ha, huh, look at that. Pretty. So um, it's great because you can put it up. I've had it up for fall, Thanksgiving, and then I'm gonna leave it up on the mantle on my staircase for Christmas. I'll just add lights and you know tuck in a few new things but it's like three season holiday decor glitter gold glitter oh my god glitter everywhere oh hello suckies so in my last video you would have seen that i had a bunch of milk glass that i've been buying I've like had a thing for milk glass lately and it's obviously not abating because I'm still buying milk glass but this is for a friend so this is going to be part of my best friend's um, Christmas present and she was looking for a milk glass vase after she saw mine and I have bought her three so that she can do like a little grouping in her kitchen because she's redoing her kitchen and I just thought it would be cute you know to have the three so we've got three different sizes three different shapes um, oops, okay, fine. This one um, is just like a little plant holder. It matches one that I have, so we've got the identical one. This is like a parfait glass style, like it looks like a parfait glass, but it's a vase. Really cute. Um, and this one's just a cute little bud vase, but it's got like really nice little neoclassical styling on the bottom, and they were all like $2 a piece. And I like this one because you can just put, you know, a little stem of flowers in it and um yeah it's so cute okay this is fairly boring but you know what i thought i'd let you know because i didn't realize that you could get hangers at you know the thrift shop but people apparently drop them off and i got a big bag of these flocked thin hangers these are my favorite hangers my husband and my children hate them because they hate how their fabric like sticks to them but that's why i love it because i have like a lot of silky you know blouses and stuff and they all fall off traditional hangers so these really hold um especially like you know finer fabrics and silkier fabrics really well so i got a set of 12 of these um for three dollars for the set and one of them was broken like up here this part was snapped but that's not really a big deal to me and these ones are um good ones because they you can put like a shirt you can put pants it's got this little hook so you can attach another so you can do this and like double up double up your hangers and then you can hang an accessory here so um three bucks for 12 i thought that was really good then right next to that i found this bag of vintage wooden hangers and i love these i've got them all up on the my clothing rack um just because i think they look really interesting and these all come from um like this is probably stolen from the royal york hotel in toronto and here's another one i don't know what era they are but they're they're probably from the 60s 50s or 60s um there was six of them in the bag for four dollars so really nice Look at this tin, you guys. So I was hoping that I'd be able to research it, but all it says is, what's it say there? Oh, hi. Hmm. Made in England container, or just container made in England. Well, thanks, that's really helpful. But I wanted to like date it or something. Like when I bought it, it had been used, I think it's a fruitcake tin, because that's what um, was, in it like there was little remnants of fruit cake in it but I just cleaned that out and put my face masks in it and it matches the new I've got a little turquoise 
um, this color turquoise little cart in my bathroom now with all my beauty supplies on it. So this sits on one of the racks. And oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. This was uh, $2. And it's gorgeous. I would never put cookies in that and like give it away. Pfft, no way. I'm keeping that puppy. Ooh. Ah. So the thrift store is really great for buying games. So instead of having a big Christmas party this year, we're just going to have a couple of couples, a couple of couples over, and we're going to have dinner and play games. So I wanted to get games that, you know, you could play fairly quickly. So I've just started, um, Trivial Pursuit is always, like, even if you don't play with the board, just having the questions out and, you know, like doing speed rounds and stuff is cool. And then I got Balderdash. Um, this is one where you, I think you write out what you, like you get a word and then everybody writes out what they think the definition of the word is and then you have to pick who said what. But like these games run around $3 a piece. And if they've got the elastic on them, this is from Value Village, if they have the elastic on them, it usually means all the pieces are in there. And the ones that don't have the elastic are partial. So now I'm going to bring my basket over and show you all the other little goodies I got. So let's see, let's dig in here. Um, I'm having a real moment with tarnished silver and silver in general. So this is a little tiny silver tray that I got that sits next to, it sits on my bedside table next to my bed and I put like, um, you know, if I get, have a glass of water or something, I like to put it on a tray so it doesn't wreck my night table. And I learned to do that after I wrecked my night table with water. So I could polish this and I might just because it is really, really tarnished. The reason why I have these is because I went to a bed and breakfast in Dryden, New York State last weekend. And every time they served us breakfast, they used lead crystal and they served everything with silver serving pieces. So um, every day I served my fruit salad with this little, with a spoon like this. So now I'm like, oh, I have to have silver serving pieces. Now I'm pretty sure these are silver plate but they've still got that nice heaviness to them that silver pieces have and they look antique -y. So I bought those. But like I said, I could probably take the tarnish off that too if I wanted to. So I got those silver pieces. I'm not sure if these are like vintage or antiques or anything like that, but I got a set of six of these for $4. I thought that was really great. So I'm gonna use them not for wine because they're, they're really too thick and heavy for wine, but they'd make good water goblets or juice glasses. And then I found this Depression Era little, I think it's Depression Era, I have no idea. I talk out of my ass a lot, you guys. Just this little glass jug. This is a milk jug and um, like I remember seeing these like in my grandparents' house, right? So in the farmhouse and you pour the milk in there and. Yeah, so I thought that'd be really cute on the breakfast table with all these pieces. Oh, I'm so excited. Speaking of milk glass, look at this piece I found for myself. Oh, I just think that's a beautiful piece. So I don't know what I, where I'm going to put it or what I'm going to put in it because I got milk glass all over the freaking house, which is what happens, you guys. Okay, I found this really cool... Um, just wooden, what do you call these things? <laughs> cheese tray. It has some red wine spilled on it, but really aren't you drinking red wine with cheese anyway? And I just put that as decor up in my kitchen. It goes behind my utensil holder and this part gets covered anyway, so you don't see it. So I thought that was really cute for $2. Apparently I didn't take the label off very well. Like I jump around eras a lot. So we've got the, the glass, we've got the silverware. And we've got the milk glass and now I go to the 70s with pottery I love pottery I have this real thing for pottery like you'll see look pottery 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 okay so when we have people over for dinner we have tea we like to have tea but the teacups I have are all too big and I don't have a big enough teapot to make enough tea to fill the cups if you're having multiple guests over so I found these now these are um, Irish coffee cups but they're the same size as a smallish teacup and they've got like little feet on them so I think they're really super cute and they match I have bigger teacups for the family like if we're not having company that are in this kind of blue color and uh, I just thought that was so great I got a set of four 
for seven dollars they were a little bit no how many did I get a set of six or a set of four a set of four for seven dollars they were a little bit more pricey but sheesh like if you go to the pottery place and buy that you'd be paying like $25 a mug so not bad and I found this little jug it looks like a mug but you can tell how the see how there's like a little lip so I use this as a gravy pitcher because I don't really like gravy boats because I've never found one that's a style that I like they're all a little bit too precious so this one is just perfect and it holds a crap ton of gravy it's signed by the artist so yeah and then another bowl this I put next to my Keurig coffee maker to hold the little K cups and look at how it complements the coffee cups tea cups and then lastly, I just have some more little Pyrex white bowls that's going in the gift for Olivia, uh, my best friend. Okay, so there you go. So I just filmed my outro and then pressed stop record and it started recording, which means I wasn't recording the first time. So that's everything that I got. Uh, I really, I'm so happy with everything and everything's so reasonably priced and it allows you to have like if you thrift shop, you can really find some nice things to make your home just feel, you know, so homey and have like, looks like you've collected, you know, beloved treasures all over the place and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. Well, unless you've been shop like I do. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go back to lazing around on this rainy Saturday um, and just be hungover in my red sweatshirt with the little thumb holes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.